floaters. We all get floated. I've had floated. I'm assuming most people get floaters. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about floaters? Do we need to be freaking out when we see something floating by in our eye? Do we need to be calling up the doctor? How do we approach this? Uh, yeah, I, I've done several videos on this. Um, you, you may have seen some of them, but yeah, floaters are very common. Uh, from the, I think the early, in, I think in one of the earliest studies ever, it was an autopsy report and a four-year-old that that four-year-old had floaters already in their eyes. But in general, uh, inside the eye, most of the eye's shape is filled with a gel that we call the vitreous humor. It's mostly water, but it's got some collagen in it. And so it makes it more of a, a gel-like substance. But as we get older, that gel breaks down. So by the time you're about age of 60, most people have already had some degree of floaters. I think it's like 25% of people will say they see spots. And then by the time you're 80, you're, you're almost have like a 50 to 80%. It's a really high percentage of people already have full blown floaters. The gel is completely liquefied. The, uh, these little floating spots are just the pieces of collagen. These little hairs are little spots that are drifting around inside your vision. So if you're just starting to see a few of these and you find them annoying, <laughs> and that's, that's what a lot of people is, you just see them drifting around, uh, they can be pretty bothersome, but not necessarily an emergency unless you have a sudden, like hundreds of them. Like if you're just sitting there one day and you see a flash of light off to your side and you see then all of a sudden it's like a whole cloud of tiny little floaters. Or if you see any loss of vision, like a black curtain coming from the ceiling or rising up from the floor or something like that, that could be more of an emergency. In fact, the gel inside the eye and about 5% of people, so it's not a whole lot, but that gel can tug and cause some traction on the retina and tear or pull off the retina from the back of the eye. And that can be an emergency for lost vision. So I always tell people, you know, if you're just seeing little spots, you know, not a big deal, but if you're seeing any flashes of light, any of those loss of vision, like hundreds of little spots, uh, or if you're just concerned, come on in, we'll dilate your eye, we'll look inside, we'll make sure the retina's in good condition. Um, but, other, but otherwise, yeah, it's just, it's kind of a normal thing. Yeah, and I think it, the most important part, that was a great answer, thank you. But a very important part is distinguishing what's just a typically benign floater and then what is something you need to call your doctor. Um, and and you, they have to pay attention. You can't just, not everything is just a floater. Um, and I think you're hundred percent right. It's so funny because it happened to me and I was actually seeing patients and I had a uh, partial ret retinal tear okay. and I presented with spider webs. And initially I thought they were, it was a floater and I'm seeing patients and I see this thing and I'm like, oh, that's a weird floater. And it just became worse and worse and worse. And I called up a patient of mine who happens to be an ophthalmologist down the hall. Okay. And um, <laughs> he said, come on down right now. And I said, well, I have a couple more patients. He said, no, you don't. You're coming down now. And, and, and I'm glad he advised me to do that because it was something that needed to be intervened on. But, you know, thank you so much. Floaters are common, but if, but if they are anything like you described yeah. outside those warning signs, then people need to speak with their eye doctor.